Hi, in this video I want to teach you how to crochet this beautiful cardigan, sweater, jacket, whatever you want to call it. It's very easy to make. It's all done in crochet. And here is the list of material you're going to need to make this beautiful piece. To make this cardigan, the yarn I'm going to use is these two colors, but you can use uh, three color, four, how many color you want, or you can use just one, but I'm going to use these two. And they are uh, from Red Heart with wool, uh, worsted four, or medium four, they have worsted four here and medium four here. Um, the color is Gumball. It's 80% acrylic and 20% uh, wool, and each wool has 100 gram. And the difference of this one is just the color that the name is green. The crochet hook is 5.5 millimeters. You're going to need scissors and buttons. If you don't can find big buttons, you can use smaller buttons, or uh, you can do a chain in the front and just do a tie in the front. Or you can create your own buttons by cutting some piece of wood like that, like the thickness of this finger, and opening two little holes with a drill, and like that you have rustic looking buttons for your cardigan. So uh, you're going to need two uh, needle and thread for sewing the buttons, but if your buttons have big holes, you can use your tapestry needle and your yarn. Uh, this stitch is multiple of 7 plus 4, so for mine I'm going to make 133 plus 4. And mine is a, it's a size large uh, cardigan. So I'm going to do a slip knot. And I'm going to start chaining. My 133 plus 4, 137. It's like this. This will give me uh, 5 and 5 motif for the front and 9 for the back. So I'm going to continue doing this until I have my 137. Once you have your 137 or the amount that you want for yours, uh, you're going to measure the chain around the wider part of your body, either the hip or the bust or the chest. Uh, that will be the length of the chain. And for mine it's 137. So I'm gonna do two rows of single crochet. So I'm gonna chain one. And I go to the single, to the second chain, and make a single crochet. And I'm gonna do two rows of single crochet for the border and the bottom part of the cardigan. You can do four, you can do six, depend on the width that you want of that border. For mine, I will do two. I want to show you here. I have this one here that I'm working with. And this one had two rows of single crochet. That's the border there. So it's up to you how many rows you want to do of single crochet. So I'm going to continue. And when I get to the end of this row, I will show how to uh, turn back my work around for those beginners that want to make this piece. Once you get to the end, you're going to chain one, turn your work around, and you're going to go to the first little hole there and do your first single crochet. You have to go there because if you go to the second one, you will be skipping one uh, stitch and you will be one stitch short. Uh, single crochet and double crochet are different, not just how they look like, but where you make them because if this was a uh, Double crochet, you'll be making your first double crochet here because the chain three will be the first one here. But single crochet, you have to go to the first little hole. Okay, so you're going to continue with your row a single crochet. You can make two, three, four, whatever amount of row you want to make for the border of your cardigan. So for mine, I'm going to do only two. Don't need to be that thick and heavy in the bottom. You can make it wider if you like. 
once you finish those two rows you will finish the border of the cardigan so you can make two or three uh, two more if you like for a total of four or you can leave it just like this for me it will be just like this I'm gonna chain three I'm gonna turn my work around and that will count as the first double crochet now we're gonna do two more one in the next single crochet you see if you see now you see this single crochet here I have one double crochet and in the next one the next one because if I do the double crochet again in that same little hole there I will have two in one place that's what I wanted to explain for those beginners so I have three and now we're going to start with a stitch you're going to go to the next single crochet you're going to pass your yarn through and you will do a loop and you will have two on your hook you go to the next single crochet and you have three loops you have four five and six so you're gonna go pass your yarn through the first five loop leaving that one there and you're gonna close those two and that count as a stitch number one of five so you're gonna pass your yarn through those five loops and you pass your yarn and you do a single crochet that will be number two because you have this one from the first one you did there you're gonna go again you have three and now you can still see a little hole and it'll be easier for you four and five okay if you count one two three four and five now you're going to do a double crochet and the next single crochet you have to make sure that is the next one because if you work in this one you'll be working and that stitch that is already uh, being used so two mm, double crochet and again we're going to repeat this uh, stitch you're going to go to the next single crochet pass your yarn through you have two loops go to the next one you have three go to the next one four next one five and the next one six it's really five of them because the number six is the one that you bring in over from the stitch before you're going to pass your yarn through those first five and you're going to do a single crochet here so again you're going to pass through those five loops and you're going to do a number two you see the little hole there it's easier now three four and five so you go to the next one and you're going to do a double crochet and another double crochet like it's like um, the What's it called? A stitch from Peru. Uh, the broom, the broom lace a stitch. It's a little bit like that, but you don't need any uh, a ruler or anything to do it. It just it's easy. Okay. Um, now again, you go to the next. Uh, you have two loops. Three, four, five and six you pass through those first five and you single crochet there and you go you can see really well when you open those uh, five a little hole there and it'll be easier for you to do the rest of the single crochet three four and five now again go to the next one and do two Double crochet like that you're going to continue all the way to the end and you're going to finish with three double crochet at the end it's very easy and once you get the hang of it it will be as easy and fast to do now I'm going to finish my first row with my three double crochet so 
So we'll have three double crochet on the beginning and three at the end. That will be the two front part of the piece. Like For the second row, you're going to chain one, turn your work around. Now the second row is just single crochet. So it's nice and easy. But you have to make sure that you do the single crochet in the right place. So here, in the first little hole, we're going to do our first single crochet. The second single crochet. Remember here are three double crochets, so we have to have three single crochet in the top. And here, supposed to go in this little hole, but we're going to do it here. Grabbing the whole stitch like this. Doing that single crochet. That will create this little hole here, the same size as this one on the other side. So now you're going to do your five single crochet. One, two, three, four, and this is your five, fifth double crochet. So you're going to grab the whole thing and do a crochet, a single crochet. So now you're going to do one single crochet and here is the second one. Here it was in the third one because we had three uh, double crochet. So here we had two. We're going to do this one and this open here. And grab our single crochet. Now we're going to count. One, two, three, four, again, five, and now two. One in the center of this one, but this one is grabbing the whole thing. And two. Again. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. And I'm going to turn my work around and you will see, you see, I'm creating the little holes exactly the same by doing that. And this is the right side. You see? So you're going to continue doing uh, this row of single crochet all the way to the end and the row number 3 will be the repetition of row number 1 and row number 4 the repetition of this row number 2 of single crochet like that. But once I finish this row I will show you one more time how to do the first row again. Now I'm going to finish with my 3 single crochet. And like that, I finish uh, the second row, and this is the wrong side. For the third row, we're going to do the repetition of the first. So we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Turn our work around, and that count as the first double crochet. Now we're going to go to the next single crochet, and we're going to do a double crochet. And another one, and the next one, for a total of three. Like that. Now we're going to repeat. In this first single crochet, you pass your yarn through, you have two loops. Three, four, five, and six. You pass your yarn through, leaving number six on the hook. So you do a single crochet. And you pass your hook through those five loops like that and you do a single crochet and I recommend to open a little bit like that with your finger that way you can see the hole and it's easier for you to do the rest so that would be three four and five again you go to the next single crochet and do a double crochet and another and the next one and you see the stitch are right on top of each other. Again, you pass through, that's two, three, four, five, and six. Pass through five, leaving one, do a single crochet, pass your hook through your five loops, 
the two, again three, four, and five. Again two double crochet and the next two single crochet. Like you see, it's very easy and fast. Again, two, three, four, five, and six. Pass it through the first five and do a single crochet. Pass it through again and that's number two. three, four, and five, again, two, crochet, again, two, three, four, five, and six, pass it through, And you're going to continue doing this all the way to the end. That's two, three, four, and five, and two, and double crochet. So I'll meet you here at the end of this row and I will show you one more time how to do the row of single crochet. Now we're going to finish the third row with three and double crochet. Just like that. Now I'm going to chain one, turn my work around. And in the same little hole there, I'm going to do my first single crochet, the second one, and remember here in the third one, you have to grab the whole thing here to make that little hole the same size as the one on the other side. So I'm going to count one, two, three. Four. and you see this one is a little long but once you do your single crochet in there and you go to the next one that will you see get her his own shape um, and you see the holes are the same size now so again this is one this is two again making the hole bigger and then one two, three, four, five, and then one, and number two, making it bigger, and again, one, two, three, four, five, and like that, you're going to continue working those two rows until you have the length that you desire from uh, the waist or your uh, hips or even longer until under the arm. We're going to work until there. That's the length that you're going to give to your piece and it's going to be looking like this. I'm going to show you one that I was working with, but I uh, decided that for that long cardigan, I don't want this type of pink. But this is the stitch. This is what the stitch gonna look like. But in this color. So maybe later I decide to do this. It's like more like a little sweater. This is uh, more like this, you see. This is for the color here. So maybe later I will decide and maybe I will continue working this and I'll show you how to do it. But for now, you're gonna continue working this one until you have the desired length from your that you want to give until under the arm
so you can give it all the way to your toe if you like but or to your knee you know it's the length that you want uh, the cardigan to be so I'll meet you there when I have mine and mine I will count mine the motif just these ones I don't want to count the row of single crochet just gonna keep it simple and I will let you know how many motif of these I will give to mine for my length now to change color I give you the explanation until uh, under the arm for those ones that want to do one color but if you want uh, to do a different color now I'm going to show you how we're going to change uh, to the other color and it will be the same for uh, whatever many colors you like to do here I did uh, four motif and I did the last row of single crochet and I'm going to start to do the next motif but I'm going to change color so here I'm going to do my last single crochet I have my two loops I already prepared a slip knot on my other yarn and I'm going to pass it through there through that single crochet I pulled the yarn and I got my knot inside that's okay Now I'm going to chain three, one, two, and three, and I'm going to turn my work around, and later I will cut this yarn, and I will lose the yarn here with my tapestry needle as I work. That way I don't have at the end those tangly uh, yarn. Um, it'll be faster to finish the piece if I go losing the yarn at the same time. So I'm going to do my three double crochet remember the chain comes the first one and now I'm gonna create my motif and since the yarn are exactly uh, the same type the motif are exactly the same if you, you use different uh, yarn uh, different size yarn remember there will be different sizes Crochet. and like that I'm going to continue working this row I'm going to come back again with my row single crochet and again do another row of this color the design that I want to do for my uh, cardigan is I did four row of this motif now I'm going to do two row of the cream one row of the gumball and two row of the cream and then after that I will do four row again of these and then again I will go back to two row of the cream, one row of the gumbo and two of the cream. I will show you once I done my first stripe. Okay, I wanted to show you how it's looking so far and I love the combination of color. And I had to do one more motif in the top with the cream and then I will do my four with the pink. But I love, love the, des the design of the stitch. Here I wanted to show you how it looks so far and I love the design. And this is the length that I'm going to give to mine. If you want it longer, you can do it longer. It's up to you, but for me this is enough. And I did four motif here of this color, of the color uh, pink. I got called pink because it's a pink even if they call a different name, gum, gum ball or whatever. So it's pink. Four motif of the pink and two of the cream, one of the pink, two of the cream, three of the pink, two of the cream, one of the pink, two of the cream, and so far I've done two of the pink. Now I'm going to separate the two front and the back. And I measure 18 inches or 46 centimeters. Now we're going to start this row with a chain of three. I have one, two, and three to work around. In this row we're going to do some decrease and we're going to work only in these five motif in the beginning. So one, two, three, four, and five. And those five. That is one of the front part of the cardigan. So I'm going to do two more. 
double crochet for a total of three. Now we're gonna do some decreases for the next row, but we're gonna start doing working on this one, the decrease, and you'll see why. Here we have five uh, single crochet, so we have to pull five loops. Six with this one, but I don't count this one, I just count the ones that I pull through. So now we're going to close this one, and we're going to count as one. Remember, we've been doing these ones, and we are creating five single crochet in the top. This time, we're going to create only four, and that is the decrease. One, that one there. Two, three, and four. So for the next row, instead to have five Single crochet will have four only there. So now, again, my two double crochet, those ones stay the same. So only the decrease are in these ones, and no in all ones in this row. So one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to pull it through. This one's one. Again, we're going to have four. That's one. Two, three, and four. Again, two double crochet. And in this one, we don't go to do any decrease in this one and in the next one. In three and four. So one, two, three, four, and five, because it's true, because that one is one, two, three, four, and five. Like that. Again, the two double crochet, and the next one you're going to do exactly the same as this one, five on the top. Five single crochet. So I'm going to do that one off camera and I will show you how to do the last one, this one here. Okay, just this one you do a regular with no decrease. We want to work on the last one and remember we have five uh, single crochet here, so we're going to work only on four. We're going to do only four loops one, two, three, and four. Again, we're going to do the decrease of four on the top. So that's one, two, three, and four. Okay? Four on the bottom, four on the top. Four loops and four single crochet. So now in this loop that was left behind, we're going to do a double crochet. And like that, we finish the row. Okay? So now I'm going to chain one, turn my work around. So I have my material under my camera. Now we're going to work the row of single crochet. So now remember you did some decrease and you have to make sure that you have the same amount that you did here in this row. For example, and here I did four, you have to have four. In this one, five, in this one, five, four, four, and this one stays exactly the same as we've been doing until now. So I'm going to continue working my single crochet and I will meet you here when I've done this row to show you how we're going to decrease in the other one. And remember, always grabbing these ones here. We still do that. I finished that row, now I'm going to do one, two, three chain, turn my work around and do my other two double crochet now here we have our four uh, single crochet, we're gonna pull four loops now we're gonna do a decrease again in this as count as one, 
two and three single crochet in the top. We're gonna do two double crochet. And again, we're going to pull through one, two, three, four loop, do another decrease, one, two, and three single crochet, no four, only three. And again, one, two double crochet. Here where we have five, we're going to pull those five, but we're going to do a decrease. And instead of doing uh, five uh, single crochet, we're going to do four. One, two, three, four, and five. Pull through. Let's cut this one, two, Three, four, single crochet. Now and again, two double crochet. And we're going to pull through five loops. One, two, three, four, and five. And do a decrease again. So, one, two, three, and four single crochet on the top. Again, do the two double crochet. And we're working on the last one. We have four loop. And on the top, we're going to do three single crochet. This counts as one. Two and three, and we're going to do the last double crochet. Chain one, turn your work around and do the row of single crochet. When you finish the row of single crochet, I will show you how to continue the next row.